You don't need that arm, do you? Nope. Nope. How many mechs do I have to kill, dude? This Scan the heavy pistol. Ow. If you use an AR, you don't need to worry about cover. This sniper does more damage than my AR does. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Oh my goodness, there are more! <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice trip! Dude, I hate pull in this game. It's so annoying. Can I hit you from here? Yeah. Hey! Goodbye. Yeah, just get in there, Jacob. Ah, oh, save. Nice. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Well, let's go find out. Double coming. We got hostile drone. Sweet, he controls some of the men. Nope. Firing eye impact shot. Oh, he's got a giga mech. Garrus, I'm scared. Hold me. Nope. Are these guys clone troopers? Like straight up? Nope, 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 nope. My hand cannon is really good against shields and stuff, isn't it? I think it is. I got you, Jacob. Really good idea from Jacob hiding behind the fragile crate. I'm drawing aggro! I don't want to draw aggro anymore! Garrus, help me! You don't have any ammo mods on, by the way? Yeah, I know. I don't use them in this game. Have to get hot. Oh, hey, it died. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. All right, that went well. I never use the... the different ammo things. I'm too busy shooting stuff to worry about pressing the R button. Oh, thank you. Hello there! You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Now everyone knows everything, I want to hear you try and justify this. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. 
Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, seem best to just disappear off the galactic map till you needed someone to save your ass there's no way I'm letting this slide Taylor a price will be paid how much what kind of Mac can balance these lives his life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger I don't know who you are because you're not any father I remember We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. All right, I guess we're putting him in prison. Survivors from Raya are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional server support. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Good for him. He can make a barrier now. Got heavy pistol damage. Very nice. Hey, got a trophy. Ghost of the father. Why not kill him? Oh, I mean, he can just like... Ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give him the tail lights. Roger that. I wasn't expecting what do you dialogue. Mean it wasn't you, Jacob. If I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob.
Does the elusive man ever stop smoking or drinking? Like, my goodness. Anyways, I think it's a lot worse for him to spend out the rest of it. He looks like a middle-aged adult, right? Like, he probably, uh, Jacob's dad is probably, like, not even 50 years old yet. Rather than kill him and it just be over, now he gets to suffer in prison for, like, 50-plus years, which seems way worse to me. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. That was a cool side mission. I liked it. Jacob is pretty neat. Open up. Let me out. Well, let's talk to Jacob real quick. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. All right, we'll none to talk, talk about, none to talk about. Commander. Do, do, do. Excuse me. Fives, thank you for the cheer. Greatly appreciated. You've received a new message at your private terminal. Uh, what is it? Blue Sun's activity traced from Cerberus Command. We did a little due diligence on this Lieutenant Locke and his rendezvous with the Captain Voorhees. The coordinates we obtained is the last known location of the MSV Strontium Mule has been added to your galaxy map. It turns out that the mule is carrying valuable cargo, including intel of a sensitive nature. We'd like you to track down the Strontium Mule and recover that cargo. Please pass the information to us and you can keep any other items of value you may find. Do what you will with the Blue Suns, whatever that means. An important request from Mr. Ganakaja, Esquire. Dear sir or madam, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at Ilos. Believing these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the tests revealed that those fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a reclassification from the Cultural Ministry. Knowing of your interest in Prothean technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Batarian, I cannot engage in Council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange could be made in your name, enabling us both to profit from this happy accident. Please reply urgently with your credit transfer account information. Best regards, Ganak Ijal. This is this is the uh, this is the equivalent of like, uh, please help. A Nigerian prince needs your credit card number, and then he will give you all of his riches. <laughs> I I love it. Oh, that's that's nice. Ba -na -ba -na -ba. All right, let's go to Phi Cleo, because I think it's the only other space in this area, that, and we haven't explored it at all. Let's go check it out. What's going on over here, huh? I was about to say, it's probably got very few planets that we can check real quick. Silene! A mid-sized hydrogen helium gas giant, Silene has an automated helium-3 refueling station, indicating that this remote system was once inhabited. Its distance from the mass relay and archaic design of the fuel station suggests that this system was mapped by someone who did not go through the relay, but discovered it in an independent FTL exploration. Silene is within the frost line of its parent star, where gas giants do not normally form. For this reason, Silene is believed to be an extrasolar capture. Oh, it's already poor. We'll do a quick run-through and see if any big spikes come up, and if not, we'll leave it. Ah, oh, yep, right there. Probe. Even in space, you can't avoid scam calls or scam emails. Yeah, evidently. All right, Silene seems kind of lame. Later. What about this planet? Oh, I got a trophy. Visit 100% of the planets in an unexplored cluster. Nice, easy, easy gold trophy. 
A boiling hot rock planet with extreme tectonic activity, Parnassus is home to many volcanic mountains. Surface scans reveal several geothermal and solar power stations tapping the planet's abundant energy. There is no history of the planet or its government in Citadel Council records. Given its proximity to a mapped and recorded planet like Silene, someone must have deleted Parnassus from the database. Probably because it's filthy friggin' rich! Probe away. Dude, we are loaded on iridium. Remember when I used to have trouble finding iridium? Now it's platinum that I'm lacking in. Speaking of... Whoop. Don't mind if I do. Dude, so much iridium, my word. We really do need to find a spot with a ton of platinum. Because now that's what we're really lacking in. We're good on palladium. We've got a ton of iridium right now. Here's some platinum. I mean, some more element zero would be nice, but we rarely have to actually use element zero. So I feel like we're kind of good on element zero as is for the moment. Really just want another big influx of platinum. All right, that's good enough. Back to Enoch to use the mass relay. Don't mind me. bar is full really lacking right now compared to the others yeah the bar is meaningless i don't know why the bar even exists in this game because it's not actually a cap you can just like it just goes over it seemingly infinitely mass relay time uh project overlord safe crashing ship I want to do more helping characters stuff. So we have Zaid, Tali, Samara, and Jack. I want to get all four of those done today. And then maybe we'll see about doing the Liara DLC today, potentially. Uh, let's go help Jack next. Get that one done. I thought that would take a little bit longer. I was taking a drink of my water. Pragya, yeah. help Jack. Well, I, you know I gotta look at all these other planets first, and my goodness, there are a lot of them. Any down here? Nope. All right, what we got going on planet-wise? Banik! Banik is a large subterrestrial hothouse with a crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere. A high average density of over 7 grams per cubic centimeter indicates that Banik is a mineralogical treasure trove. If only there was some way to safely reach its seas of molten metal and iodes of radioactives. The planet's mass is so great that trace amounts of helium and molecular hydrogen can be found in the atmosphere. Oh, it's rich. Oh, it's rich and it's got platinum, boys. Probe away. Water, what does the world come to? Uh, the world has come to the fact that I haven't been to the store in a hot minute, and I'm too lazy to go to the store to get more Gatorade. Although I am going to be going to the store tomorrow. I'm going to go and uh, clean my car tomorrow, vacuum it out, give it a good washing. It's been a while. And uh, I'm going to go be going to Nashville soon to pick up Sly and Michael and bring them over here. And then we're going up to Indianapolis, so I want the car to be nice and clean for it. Can I sell my palladium to, like, someone? Can I do... There's there's no way I need this much palladium. I need... I need something to do with it. I just need one dude to, like, show up who's filthy rich, and he's like, I have an obsession with palladium. Let me buy it off of you for, like, billions of dollars. I want platinum. I will also take iridium. Iridium also good. But platinum is where it's really at. Oh, you're poor now. Goodbye. Gamion! Gamion is a hydrogen-helium gas giant with six large icy moons. The outermost one, Gigula, is of note for a well-preserved wreckage of an ancient starship that was recovered by a Tyrian military surveyor. Little information has been released to the public on the vessel, aside from a scholarly paper regarding how the internal layout suggests a horizontally oriented race. This place is already poor. Oh, wait a minute. Get some platinum and iridium. Away. Thank you for the cheer, Mr. Fives. Greatly, or MTP Vibes. Much appreciated. 
I saw the MTV and immediately said Mr. on instinct. Probe away. Alright, that's enough. I don't need more palladium. What you got? Alkanost. Alkanost is a standard ice giant with a methane ammonia atmosphere. It has an unusually strong magnetic field, which is occasionally useful when ships need to discharge their drives. Ooh, moderate. Moderate with some platinum? That's what I like to see. Launching probe. Getting our platinum up there. Oop, oop. Probe away. It's so nice being able to buy 60 probes. We still have like 44 left, my goodness. 